Hey, Alright, this is a video of um, how I make my hard apple cider. Uh, about a day and a half ago, I went to the local cider mill and purchased two six-gallon carboys full of fresh-pressed cider. And um, I brought it home and I siphoned about a half gallon out of each carboy to make room for the sugar and uh, enjoy and drink. Right, the fresh the fresh cider has a uh, natural yeast in it that I really don't want in my cider. So um, what I do is the first thing I do is I take and I add a quarter teaspoon of potassium metabisulfite to each container and let it sit for about 24 to 30 hours to evaporate out. And that way I know all the natural occurring yeast in the apples is dead so I can start and use my champagne yeast. It just, it just takes about a quarter teaspoon per six gallons of or five and a half gallons that I have left of the cider to make sure that it's um, ready to use commercial yeast. Alright, so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to siphon off about a gallon out of each container, well, I'll do it individually, into a, um, a sterilized pot. Make sure to sanitize all your equipment before you start any project like this. But I'm going to start by siphoning off a gallon of the cider into the pot and then I'll be adding my sugar and then mixing it back in so I can get everything totally dissolved easily. Basically the only ingredients that I use for making the cider is um, I use brown sugar which actually gives it a really nice molasses flavor finish when you drink it and I use just white sugar to provide the yeast something to um, ferment into alcohol. First thing I'll do is I'll weigh out two pounds of the brown sugar. Alright, here's the two pounds of brown sugar. Um, I like to weigh it out, it kind of helps me keep it tasting the same year after year. But the sugar content of the apple is a little different too, so you will get different flavors. So first, then I'll take this and I will add it to the um, gallon of cider that I siphoned out and dissolve that, stir that in well. Brown sugar has been uh, stirred in, it's basically totally dissolved. Next thing I'll do is I'll, I'll weigh out the white sugar and add that. Here we have the um, four pounds of white sugar that I'm going to add next. And this is for each six gallon batch that I add this much. Now I'm going to um, slowly stir in this white sugar and try to get that all dissolved in this gallon of liquid before adding it back to the carboy. Kind of make sure that everything is dissolved and you don't wind up with a lot of sugar laying on the bottom at the end. What I'm going to do is I uh, take and I siphon that sh sugar mixture back into the carboy. Seems to be the easiest way to get it back in there. Now with all that sugar back in the carboy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my back into my spoon and I'm going to. Stir it up and mix it up real good. And then next I'm going to take a um, hydrometer reading to just to check the bricks before I get going to see if I have to add any more sugar. Alright, so everything mixed up. Now what I do is I use a uh, wine thief to go in there and, and grab a sample. And I dropped the hydrometer in it just to verify my bricks. Looks like I'm at about a 18. I want to get that up a little bit higher so I'll be adding a little bit more sugar. 
But I got another half a pound of sugar here. I'm gonna slowly I'm gonna add to the mixture and stir in and then I'll take another reading and see if it's where I want it. If not, I'll add a little bit more. Taking another reading in this batch right now is um looks like it'll should ferment out at about a 10% alcohol level, which I'll go for on this batch. Um, the next one I'll be shooting for about a 15%. But it seems that this year the sugar content of the apples is quite a bit lower than it has been in the past. So I've had to add more sugar, so I'll see how it turns out. For this first batch, I'm going to be trying this uh, Red Star Premium Curve yeast. See how that comes out. That should ferment out to 10-12%. So trying that and what you do is you start by getting a cup of quarter cup of water that's at about 108 degrees and you put the yeast in let it sit for a couple of minutes to activate before you add it to the cider All right, as you can see, the, about 15 minutes later the yeast is starting to foam and it's all activated so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it into the carboy. Try to get all of that out of there. And the last thing you do is throw in an airlock and then I'll fill that with water and we'll go on to the next batch. Here we are starting the second batch and siphoning out some of the, the sugar balloon and start the process all over again. Okay, the second batch is done. This one I had to put a, a couple extra pounds of sugar in to get the bricks up a little bit higher so I can get some higher alcohol content. Okay this batch I'm going to be using a um, champagne yeast that should allow it to go up to about 14-15%. Um, so I'm going to mix that with the warm water and uh, add it to the batch. So here we have it, two batches, 12 gallons of uh, hard apple cider started. As you can see, the first batch is already starting to ferment. Uh, a lot of movement going on. And the other one I just added the yeast to, so that one will be a while. But one thing you always want to be sure to do when you're um, fermenting any kind of liquid is to put it in a container. I've used a cooler here just in case it blows out and um, runs over so you don't have the uh, fluid all over the place. So now this will have to sit for about two weeks for the uh, primary fermentation and then I'll be racking it off into a secondary fermenter and let it sit for a couple months to settle out and clear. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.